as you can see. So my print pop now follows me, which is a very, very welcome addition in my opinion. Here we go. Kill this content, no more rank. Ta-da, can't be waiting again, Hikari. Let's see how much stuff you and I have gotten right here now. In your train now, you expect to be ready for a mile. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started in game mode. And something for your Pokemon hole, hold. Take the shell bell. Okay. HP restoring item. Okay, we tails. Okay. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to like repeat. Pop in case, thank you. There we go. That's all I wanted, because I knew you got something. Alright, that's us explode everywhere in a heart attack, except for one major area that we've not really had the chance to go to yet, and that's Amity Square. Alright. Trust me, we'll want to go here. For a specific feature, right? Now you ready guys? I'm at square, let's listen to that. Yeah, there's a time tracker, right? Alright, let's go. And I'm at square, you may go for a show with a cute Pokemon. Which Pokemon would you like to take a show with together with? I can choose Poseidon or Pachirisu. I'll go with my starter though, I would say. Okay, your other Pokemon going ahead to the square and play. Decent, good stuff. I'll be waiting for you in the square, have a great time. Sounds good, sounds good to me. Pachirisu is over there, I see, okay. Intriguing. Now, this is not, not the reason why we're in Amity Square. It's cool having the following mods and all, but there's not actually the reason why we're in the square. It's for the items in the ground, believe it or not. Like, Bolt Switch. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is that...? I don't know, that might be special. That spin's got to be great for, um, Luxury, but I don't actually think it's, I think it's special. We're also going to go up and get Team 45 for Attract as well. We're at it. Quite a few items like this in this area, don't you worry. You can make poppins here in the station and meet square for those wondering as well. Up these stairs. This is the way you can go out and square from the other side, by the way, as well, but it's not really that useful. Yeah, that's right. If you talk to your Pokemon in Amity Square, it can actually occasionally find some things off the ground. There's a little item in here. Yeah, that's spooky plate, which does power up the power of ghost type moves by 10%. So that's now us buying two plates. Although I've actually got a third plate because I found another plate in the underground earlier when I was looking for that male rolls. Yeah. I think I got I think I got the mine plate if I'm not mistaken, the one that would be second thing moves, but other than the ground underground spooky plate and the Draco plate would be the one that I found previous. It's also an item here, I believe. Yep, the amulet coin. I'm just gonna be massive and I mean massive for like grinding money later on. But looks like the Pokemon that was taking a show of you wants to go out. Only well, special trainers can make their Pokemon feel that way. I'm pretty sure that your Pokemon would be delighted if you let them out of the balls outside the square too. So now, whenever you walk outside the square, I have to go down to the square. You now, unless you're inside the building and that, your elite Pokemon will now follow you outside of Amity Square, as you can see. So my print pop now follows me, which is a very, very welcome addition in my opinion. I've been waiting for this to return to the heart goes so silver. I know someone should have it, but what's the thing the best? What's it? Some Pokemon just didn't catch up to you all the way. like I'm a million years to catch up to you. Although I am, I am outpacing Print Plot, this is a much, much better implementation of it, in my opinion. Anyway, thank for the main objective here, don't you think? In the contest halls. Hello, Fantino. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please excuse Moi. Are you entering a super contest show? Oh, ho, enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fantino, the heart home gym leader, also happens to be a super contest show expert. And you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fandino. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become much stronger, and then you may challenge me. AKA, get to the fifth gym. Or rather, that's not what I mean. AKA, beat the fourth and fifth gym. I mean, the fourth and fourth gym, so you can challenge it's gym five. Now, let's see. Is this area. Okay, it's still blocked up. Okay, they can't go there yet. So, you do have to do a contest, I believe. Oh god, that's pretty cool. Even though I'm on the bike, look how much Primplot's catching up with me. Even though I'm on a bike, it's actually keeping up with me pretty well. I'm actually surprised. I imagine not all ones can do that though. Only the speedy ones. Right, let's head the contest hall and see what's up then. Oh, my hero. Oh, hi, Hikari. Wait, not really. Johanna is your mom. You might be a super contest show star. Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to you, Carrie, about super contest shows. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Uh, that's why I need to thank you for earlier. Please take a sticker. 
Or the fear will succeed lovely. They thought they could warn your ball capsule before a show. It will lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a show judge, come join us for all kinds of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Joanne, I'll see you. Were you surprised to see me, Carrie? I got bored, I came at the heart home for a little vacation. It's a surprise to see you here, media. Well, you serious about entering Super Contest shows? Not dressed that way. Sure, Pokemon's tend to shine, so you shouldn't be dressed your usual way. Because it's not for a little glamour. It's like that, right? Just like that. I'm sure we'll look good on you after all I chose it. Go enjoy the Super Contest shows. Those will give you a different look at the many charm of the mods. It should be an eye opening experience for you. Bye now. Sounds good. I think that's the fly I'll continue actually, but I will do a super content show just to show you what that is, right? Because it's not, if you played the Avengers, it's absolutely nothing like the original to my understanding. I believe I've actually now changed it to like be a uh, rhythm game now, if you're not, and it's much, much shorter apparently than the uh, original content, which took about 10 minutes each pretty much, right? Oh, and it's going to give us a random mild pop, and alright, I'll do that. But yeah, as I was saying, what do you call it, um... Yeah, apparently the contest used to take about 10 minutes, even now they're significantly shorter and they're part to like a rhythm game now, so let's go and see if we can do it, you know what I'm saying? Before we do that though, I need to check something. Oh, it's beside you got a star on him, by the way, I just realised that. Oh, is that because he's the Pokemon that's currently, like, out, like, following me? How do you change that? Hold on. Yeah, he's not the leader of my, he's not the leader of my party. How do you change that? Walk together. Okay, that's how you do it. Alright, cool. But they don't need to be in the front of your party either. I actually really like that feature, to be honest. Yes, I would like that, and I thank you very much. I'll do the coolness contest. And we can do any of it right off the bat, really. Let's do normal events to show off, though. So we're going to go with anyone that is eligible. Interesting. Oh, you know how it says eligible? I wonder if that same mod to do like the master rank in that set as to win the normal, grey, ultra, and then the masters, you know what I mean? I wonder if that's what it means. Please select the move. Um, let's see here. For five seconds, Mistness will not be judged. No, that's fine. Let's go with Bubble Beam. Height points gain will increase by two if groove is negative. Huh. I don't want to tell you what this means, I just go with Metal Claw, Groove is positive, yeah. Make sure the ball caps to you in the contest show, we've got this. Make sure to select a there before you start. Alright, cool. So we can use our everyday style, we can use our contest style, which is really looking nice, uh, or we can use the Platinum style, which again also really looks nice. And I'll probably, once I get access to being able to change it on the fly, change to the Platinum style, to be honest. I like our regular outfit, don't get me wrong, but I think the plan of those it is better. Especially in the game where we get snowy routes and stuff like that. Having the scarf and the little like rain jacket and the and the whaley boots and that stuff, I think it's gonna be better. Ooh, contest that we're doing a contest obviously, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Kill this contest, no more rank. Alright, here we go. Let's just see what type of game this is now. Alright, so for the entrance we got some hearts. I guess if you got a seal entrance you can get some points on that, okay. I see you. Pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Yeah, it's like a like complete room game now. I don't think it's the thing on the music though, I will say. I'm not sure. So we get shading rate and I believe that's perfect. Yeah, it's gotta be right. Okay, they're sort of insane. I get you, I get you. Alright, fair enough. I still don't know what the high point of the positive and negative thing means, no, I really don't. I'm gonna have to learn that off camera, like. Alright, this is a hold. Wait for it. Okay, I didn't get the release right, though, unfortunately. If it doesn't take too long to do, I can totally see myself doing this off camera, though. And getting this up and then showing you what master rank would you call that on. Contest looks in, in, in comparison to any different like the beat of the rhythm game. If it's like faster, you know how like a guitar hero and that you get easy, medium, hard, then they call you they go much faster like the, the rhythm and the, the notes you got hit. I wonder if that's the same here. I doubt it for a minute again, I don't think it will, but I think I'll show you that regardless, right? Later on in the series. 
Oh, that's cool. You see the glow sticks in the crowd there at the very end there. That was pretty cool. Nice. Oh, I have no idea how it formed it, to be completely honest with you, but... I see. What a successful Super Contest show. You got some hall points. What hall points? I don't know what hall points is, to be honest with you. It's like 10 minutes to start the show. Okay. Start of the show are... Corner and Flappy. Really, they won. Alright. Yeah, that was kind of insane. Like, I pretty much nailed that dance section. If I have a look in the top left corner of my arrows, I've got no arrow right now, but I should get an arrow in a second. Between where... See, I've got one arrow up already. We'll get the double up arrows in a second. Maybe we got it. So now, all we're doing is waiting for the rest of the AI to use it. Wait for the rest of AI to use our contest move and we'll use it at the same time. And we're now going to come in as well with our move chain. One AI did, which means that they shouldn't get points. So now, if I just perform well in the dance mini game and get a lot of shiny ratings, I should be able to hopefully win this or at least get very close. I missed it before. There are two star of the show pairs this time, which makes me think I'm in there somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so we both won this time. Alright, cool, nice. Now, if I had some visual points, it would have made that out of instantly one night, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's basically how you do it. Get fortune badges in return. But, you thought we were done, right? No, not quite. I can't anticipate you guys a little bit. We do have a rival fight with Kenny. For that, I can't be waiting again, Hikari. Let's see how much stuff you and I have gotten right here now. Hey, you're trainer now. You expect to be ready for battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started, indeed, my dude. Not like I totally knew that was coming, quite quick. I kind of like debate you guys a lot, but I knew that was coming. And Platinum is actually in the turn to the right and same with Diamond Approach right there, yeah. So he's gonna start off with a Starly. What level is he small as I'm actually gonna be wondering? Ooh, that's right, something's in the front, isn't he? Good matchup for me. <laughs> Level 19, yo, you are severely under leveled, my guy. Or either that or I'm really over leveled. I was like, that is surprising, if I'm gonna be honest with like. Then again, I am literally fighting every NPC portal, so I'm getting a bunch of extra XP, like, not gonna lie. Were you still sure I'll keep some burn? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain of that whatsoever. I'm trying to think of how did you beat the second gym? With level 19 bonds, when she's got a level 22, 23 Rosa Raid. That's what I want to know. Like, actually, when she's got a war type, that's weak to Rosa Raid, especially. I want to see what level his ace is at, because I don't see my It seems they should be up in 25, 26, in my opinion. What's your next mod then? Grotto, Leisure Star, okay, so. Grass, so we're going to bring in Falcon then for Aer Aerial Ace. Because that, one, because. It never misses. Two could of the flying type move, and three I want to see the animation for the first time in this game. Alright, yeah, comes through all then. Intimidate, yeah, because he's a physical attacker, so I had a really good unintentional switch as well. So if we go with aerial ace here, let's see how this animation looks. Ooh, that's pretty clean, you know. I like that. They are proc, yeah, because it's switch. Good move, good move by him actually. Good move, and then we go with one more aerial ace. Bum -bum. I love the animation, how it just switches into like cha cha, like that. Pretty cool. Go out of the way, that'll be most of the XP from this battle actually. Almost a level up. And the pony pad to last man, okay. We could switch to Poseidon, but I don't want it because of the stealth block damage, so I'm just gonna keep our Falcon in. Well, it's at quite low level anyway, to the point where, like, it honestly shouldn't really matter. Aerial is should... Ooh, close. Flame charge. But I did avoid because the affections helped you that. And I, I would quick attack here, but he's probably going to use a potion from Aerial Ace. No, he's potion yet from our rival. All in his game play for yet. He's going to have to start using them at some point because the gym he does do like, so I'm very surprised. Okay. What is happening? You tell me I lost again? Yes. Yes, you did lose again. You cure my team again. This amazing that my dream becomes the greatest trainer ever. No, I just need to get tougher and keep winning one day. 
That's it, I'm going to challenge the Bills on Jeb next to you, right, Hikari? I'll be bored of me about how much tougher I'll be next time we meet. If you say so, the point where actually might be worth it. What does that mean, anyway? Char, honey, we'll take those. We will take those. What's this? Looks to me you've already participated in the Super Contest show you've been to the punch. I deserve what? Electricity stickers! You'll finally we can make when you call it um, a seal for Lux Steel. I'll be waiting to do that. Let's go. Okay, so let's actually continue about 299 by doing our first battle against this trainer. Alright, let's see what we got. I believe he's a bird keeper. Unless I'm mistaken. No, breeder. I knew like it was close to that, yeah. A bone slayer. Okay. Alright, off the bat. Is this part is effective actually, believe it or not? I didn't say it was this that, so I guess we're going at it. I thought it'd be with this dude, but it? Ooh, copycat, so it's gonna be Spark then, I guess. Alright, well, good thing that's consistent, isn't it? Like, what's interesting about when you call it the, uh... I don't understand that, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, isn't Rock Super Fairy is electric, or is it ground? I think I always get confused about electric and rock types because, like, in the, you know, original Pokemon, I mean, I'm talking, not Diamond Pro, I'm talking like the original, original Kanto one, right? Like, uh... Actually, Pikachu couldn't hit on it with electric moves at all until that little water sprinkler came on. So I always like think in my head, well, no, electric moves can't hit rock types at all if they're immune to it, but I guess not. Ah, uh, we'll just go with a simple bite. Yep. Cool stuff. And you've got a Pikachu as well, okay. I think the first time we're going to see this in the game. We've seen his older brother, Matt's got the same, but not the baby version, have we now? Just like the rest, so after a quick fight, he's gonna fall, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so after that, I guess we can take on his fisherman trainer, right? Oh, as soon as we get the good rod! Hey, there we go, so finally we're off not only getting magic cards anymore, we can get stuff like gold deans and that stuff now. I believe as a rare encounter, you can actually get what you call it, um, I'm not even joking at Gyarados, but it's pretty low. I could be wrong about that, but I'm not sure. As we battle more trainers and go to more places, though, that'll definitely change, I think. One more on each, okay, what you guys got? Bonds late, my junior, I thought be the baby bonds, had a feeling. This unfortunately ain't gonna give us much XP. Well, my junior, I believe, a second pet, right? And Bonds is a rock type, and I've got super effective moves for each of them, so I think you know how this is gonna go. I on the Mime Junior. And we will be on the Bond Slay. So there's one kill. And there's the fight on the Mime Junior, which is a big kill. And that's how you win the battle. Question, is there an item room here? If I remember correctly? Like right here? Yeah, exactly. See those a bit disappointing, but okay. Also, I like that in these games they actually show the person in the future I put on, actually the person, because in the older DS games, it was so like, it was pixel art, so you couldn't really always make out, I thought it was a legit, I thought it was a legit, like, picture, like, you could randomly encounter, like, it's a sati encounter to sit on the bridge though, but no, it is actually a trade-off, you're wondering. But in these games, because more HD, you can actually see the more fine detail and actually figure out, yes, it is someone pretending to be it, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't have it, then I'm going to be, yeah, it's very safe. If you don't have it, the fact that you're dressed up, is it? I'd be surprised. Uh, so it's only level 29, I mean 19, you're level 29 rather. Right? Like, we're going to do much against us. Yeah, a few points of damage, okay, the bite's going to come off. Do we KO it though? Yeah, we do. Alright, let's continue up through the rack. Now, uh, I don't want to run into these guys, I want to go over this thing here. There's a broken crumbling tower made of stone. It seems to be a spot that would be a perfect fit for the old keystone. I'm actually going to not insert because I'll do that at a later time, but essentially once you insert that and you talk to 32, you, I think it's 31 or 32, unique NPCs in the ground underground, that's how you'll get spurred to, to spawn from this well. So that's why I said the other keys was quite an important name to have, alright? So, uh, yeah, so, yeah. I'll be doing that much later in the game though. I was thinking of using one of my team, but then I saw its level up move and it really did great in real life games, guys, so I had to go against using it on my story team for this LP, so, yeah, it is what it is. Sir, Holly Tree's also right there. I was wondering where I was in this route because the partner in the map was saying there is one. Ooh, free. Okay. Ah, uh, there are already baby monster games. I get like no XP, isn't it? I could be a yes, to be honest. 
Alright, we're gonna go with a bite then on the Mount Junior then I think, yeah. So it comes off and yeah. I mean at this point we're practically done with our level, so it feels like it must be like a level level like and difficulty spec covenant soon because I am way too over leveled. Cause it, honestly it feels like something's wrong with this game in this route. Much I love the music and that's this route in general the trainers and the levels, something doesn't feel right because like I'm not even joking when I say this, but like how come like the second gym leader was on level 23 23 and the guys on route two or three routes ahead of the second gym like further on like level 16 17 something doesn't seem right about that you know what i'm saying and spark just to finish you off and that's another trainer feed now right after this fight there is a little tricky bite um maneuvering course thing that will lead you to an actually decent aim i believe if i'm not mistaken so uh let's see if i can nail it then shall we but before we do that, oh no, it's not, it's not here yet. It's the one just up, just above this little pit. So that was Slide with Honey. If I'm not mistaken, it's a hidden item in here. Yeah, because why would they make a pit with like literally nothing in it, right? It wouldn't make sense. Can't remember if this guy's a trainer. I don't think he was in the originals, you know. I was actually to find it on the ground. Yes, I did. I always wanted to see one of these. I'll give these to you, my way of saying thanks. Three star stickers. Okay, cool. I wonder what the star stickers would really be for though, I'm curious say. Okay, so there's a few things you can do here. You can basically either go up the bike route face that train up you can go around. I'm curious to see what's around here, so I'm just gonna go this way. Okay, this is the little like bike um trick that I told you about it's kinda hard to like, form. So let me see if I can get it first time here. You do need to be in the fast mode. Ah oh, I got it first time. Well that was a lot easier than I remember it being. And you get a bottle of calcium, which is those, like I EV boost names, right? Not IV. But before we do, I'm actually going to face you real quick. I'm going to face you, you're going to face those two trains above me, get any items in this route, and because this lazy type is literally right ahead of, like, just, just slightly north of us, heal up, come back to the Lost Tower, okay? That's the plan. And you have got a Bidoof, not like I've seen about, like, 35 of those in this game already. Okay, so we go with the spot in the Bidoof, that should easily all take you out. I mean, you look, come on, level 14, man, that's like the low level in the first gem leader, like, what is wrong with the levels in this game? Yeah, I'm saying. Watch them all be super under leveled and then like, legit, I'm not even joking, like... The third gym leader just like level 35 or something like that, even though they should, like, but yeah. We're talking like level 40s around about the sixth gym leader, so... They probably won't have that drastic of a level increase, you know what I'm saying? No, they'll be doing flow, so you know what's happening here. Spark, and that thing's gone, see? Easy as that. Easy as that, lads. Also, something I would do want to say uh, as of me recording this on November 23rd at 7.36pm at night. This is the last day that I'm off on holiday because I took a long weekend to record this game because, you know, it's going to be reinforcing since the announcement earlier this year. So, um, if the rate of uploads start to be a little bit slow, I don't tend to do like some double uploads when I can. Or if I go a day without uploading some things because I've been busy at work, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I have recorded as much as possible prior to me going back to work on Wednesday though. Uh, so I can basically edit as much as possible, at least tonight, maybe get like 3 or 4 episodes edited, and then depending on how much more I can edit from there on then, I might release something double upload, I might do one a day, we'll see, you know what I'm saying. But again, there's also other LPs that I'm doing stuff like, what do you call it, Forza Rides and 5, Kind of Future Spirits, which I'm still planning to do, but because the game came out, it's going to take more of a focus, like Forza Rides and 5 did over Kenny when that came out, right? So, but also, I'll get back to the, all three of those games, uh, don't, I mean, those other two games, you'll see, you'll see. My pie is this, this route. What is it anyway? Oh, Steelwing's not bad, you know. Steelwing is certainly not bad. Alright, well, um, let's see, can I fight you guys? Yes, I can. Is it a double battle or a single? No, double. You know when you see the little X? That means double. Can we have my duration today? Okay, so we're going to go with the Spark on the mid height. And then we're going to go with the Bubble Beam on the mid -top. I'm I slightly made a mistake. Okay, I, oh, that will still work as long as Bubble Beam kills the mid height here, but I'm not confident I will. Alright, there we go, nice. I missed click, but it should still work out in here. On Dima Chap, bye bye. Just like that, guys, we have cleared right through an island in the Lost Tavern. We are now in Salisian Town.